Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, let's dive into this juicy story about Meghan Markle allegedly bullying Princess Charlotte at the 2018 royal wedding. I have to say, my jaw dropped when I first read Jessica Mulroney's claims. If true, this paints a very unflattering picture of Meghan's behaviour behind the scenes. Now, I want to be clear that we don't have all the facts here, but as someone who's followed the royal family closely for years, I have to say, this latest development fits into a concerning pattern we've seen with Meghan. Let's break this down piece by piece. First, the bridesmaid dress debacle. We've heard conflicting stories about who made who cry, was it Kate or Meghan? But Mulroney's account suggests it was actually little Princess Charlotte who ended up in tears. Can you imagine? That poor child was only three years old at the time. Wedding stress is one thing, but there's no excuse for making a toddler cry on what should be a happy family occasion. And it wasn't just Charlotte, apparently. Mulroney hints that Meghan's behaviour upset other bridesmaids too. I have to wonder, was Meghan so fixated on having her perfect fairy tale wedding that she lost sight of the real people involved, including innocent children? Now I've always tried to give Meghan the benefit of the doubt. Marrying into the royal family must be incredibly stressful and intimidating. But bullying a child? If true, that crosses a line. It makes me question Meghan's character and whether she has the temperament to handle the pressures of royal life. Let's also consider the source here. Jessica Mulroney was one of Meghan's closest friends for years. They go way back to Meghan's acting days in Toronto. So Mulroney would have unique insider knowledge of Meghan's true personality behind closed doors. The fact that she's speaking out now is pretty damning. Of course, we have to ask, why is Mulroney sharing this information now? Is she trying to distance herself from Meghan, protect her own reputation, or does she genuinely feel the public deserves to know the truth? It's hard to say for certain, but the fact that such a long-time friend is airing this dirty laundry speaks volumes. I can't help but think about how this fits into the larger narrative of Meghan's time as a royal. From the beginning, there were whispers of her being difficult to work with. Remember all those stories about royal staff quitting because of her diva-like behaviour? At the time, many dismissed it as tabloid gossip or even racism. But now, I'm starting to wonder if there was more truth to those reports than we realised. And let's not forget Meghan's own words during that infamous Oprah interview. She portrayed herself as the victim, claiming the royal family mistreated her. But if these latest allegations are true, it paints a very different picture. Was Meghan actually the one causing problems behind the scenes? I have to say, my heart really goes out to Kate in all of this. Imagine watching your young daughter be mistreated by your new sister-in-law on what's supposed to be a joyous family occasion. No wonder there were reports of tension between Kate and Meghan from the start. As a mother myself, I would be absolutely livid if someone made my child cry, royal wedding or not, and poor William, stuck in the middle between his brother and his wife. We've heard so much about the rift between William and Harry. But I wonder how much of that was actually driven by Meghan's behaviour. Did William try to warn Harry about her true nature? It certainly seems like he had good reason to be concerned. Speaking of Harry, I have to wonder what he thinks of all this. We know he's fiercely protective of Meghan, but surely even he would draw the line at bullying children, right? Or is he so under Meghan's spell that he's willing to overlook anything? It's sad to see how far he's fallen from the beloved prince we once knew. Now I want to be fair here. Planning a wedding is stressful for anyone, let alone a royal wedding watched by millions. And Meghan was under immense pressure to get everything perfect. But that's no excuse for taking it out on innocent children. A truly kind person would rise above the stress and treat others with compassion, especially the young members of their new family. I keep thinking about how this must affect Princess Charlotte as she grows up. She's old enough now to understand these stories circulating about her. How confusing and hurtful it must be to hear that her aunt... Someone who should love and protect her allegedly bullied her. It's just heartbreaking. And what about the other young royals? Prince George, Prince Louis, Archie, Lilibet. How will this impact the cousins' relationships as they get older? Royal feuds have a way of trickling down through generations. I worry that Meghan's actions have created a rift that will be hard to heal. You know, the more I think about it, 
The more this whole situation reminds me of another American divorcee who married into the royal family, Wallace Simpson. She too caused massive upheaval and family drama. Is history repeating itself with Meghan? Are we watching the makings of another constitutional crisis unfold before our eyes? I have to say, I'm starting to understand why the Queen was reportedly hesitant about Meghan from the beginning. Say what you will about Her Majesty, but she has impeccable judgment of character. Maybe she sent something off about Meghan that the rest of us missed. The Queen has dedicated her entire life to duty and service. How must it feel to watch someone waltz in and cause such chaos? And let's talk about the timing of all this. Meghan and Harry have been on a massive PR blitz lately, with their Netflix shows and Harry's book. They've been trying so hard to control the narrative and paint themselves as victims. But this revelation blows a huge hole in that carefully crafted image. It makes you wonder what other skeletons might be lurking in their closet. I'm also struck by the stark contrast between Meghan and Kate in all of this. Kate has always carried herself with such grace and dignity. Even when she was supposedly wronged by Meghan, she kept quiet and took the high road. That's true class. Meanwhile, Meghan seems to thrive on drama and playing the victim. The difference couldn't be clearer. You know, I was initially willing to give Meghan a chance. I thought maybe she could bring some modern energy to the monarchy. But time and time again, she's proven herself to be more interested in fame and fortune than actually serving the British people. It's like she wanted all the perks of being a royal without any of the responsibility. And don't even get me started on how she's isolated Harry from his family. That poor man is a shell of his former self. Remember how carefree and charming he used to be? Now he just seems angry and bitter all the time. It's like Meghan has completely brainwashed him against his own flesh and blood. I have to wonder, what was Meghan's endgame here? Did she really think she could just waltz in and change centuries of royal tradition overnight? Or was this all part of some master plan to build her own brand and become a global celebrity? Either way, it's backfiring spectacularly. The thing is, being a royal isn't just about tiaras and castles. It's about duty, service, and putting the needs of the country above your own. Meghan never seemed to grasp that fundamental concept. Instead, she treated the whole thing like a fairy tale or a reality show where she was the star. But real life isn't a Disney movie. Actions have consequences. And now, Meghan is facing the fallout of her behaviour. Her reputation is in tatters, her friendships are falling apart, and she's alienated the very family she married into. Was it really worth it? I keep thinking about how different things could have been if Meghan had just embraced her role and tried to fit in with the royal family. Imagine the good she could have done if she'd channeled all that ambition into actual charity work instead of self-promotion. What a wasted opportunity. And let's be real, Meghan had it made as a royal. She went from a C-list cable actress to literal royalty overnight. Most people would be thrilled with that upgrade. But for Meghan, it was never enough. She always wanted more. More attention. More control. More money. It's sad, really. I worry about the long-term impact this will have on the monarchy as an institution. The royal family has weathered plenty of scandals before, but this feels different somehow. Meghan didn't just ruffle feathers, she took a wrecking ball to centuries of tradition and protocol, and for what? So she could be famous? Make millions off Netflix deals? It all feels so shallow and self-serving. Meanwhile, the true royals like William and Kate are left. To pick up the pieces and repair the damage to the family's reputation. Speaking of William and Kate, don't they just shine even brighter in comparison to all this Meghan drama? They've handled everything with such poise and dignity. They're focused on their duties, raising their children, and preparing for their future roles. That's what true royalty looks like. I'm especially impressed with Kate. It can't be easy to have your sister-in-law constantly trying to upstage you and spread vicious rumours. But Kate has risen above it all. She's the epitome of grace under pressure. No wonder the British public adores her. You know, the more I learn about Meghan's behaviour, the more grateful I am that William is next in line for the throne, not Harry. Can you imagine if Meghan had ended up as Queen Consort? It would have been an absolute disaster for the country. I have to say, I'm proud of how the British people have seen through Meghan's act. Sure, she has her supporters, especially in America. But most Brits recognise her for exactly what she is, 
a social climber who bit off more than she could chew. The thing is, you can't fool the British public for long. We have a nose for authenticity. Meghan may have dazzled everyone at first with her Hollywood smile and designer clothes, but eventually her true colours showed through, and now she's reaping what she's sown. I'm curious to see how Meghan tries to spin this latest revelation. Will she play the victim card again, claim it's all a big misunderstanding, or will she finally take some responsibility for her actions? Somehow, I doubt it'll be the latter. One thing's for sure, this story is far from over. I have a feeling we've only scratched the surface of what really went on behind palace walls. Who knows what other bombshells might drop in the coming months and years. In the meantime, I'm just grateful we have William and Kate to look to as examples of what royalty should be. They're not perfect, but they understand the weight of their positions, and they always put duty first. That's something Meghan never seemed to grasp. You know, in a way, maybe we should thank Meghan. Her disastrous stint as a royal has only made us appreciate the true gems of the family even more. William and Kate shine even brighter in comparison, and the Queen's decades of steadfast service look even more remarkable. I suspect historians will look back on the Meghan and Harry saga as a brief but tumultuous chapter in royal history, a cautionary tale of what happens when someone tries to use the monarchy for their own gain rather than serve it faithfully. In the end, the monarchy will survive, as it always has. It's weathered far worse storms than Hurricane Meghan, and maybe, just maybe, it'll emerge even stronger for having gone through this ordeal but I do worry about the personal toll all this has taken on the family, especially the children. They didn't ask to be born into this drama. I hope that someday, for their sake, bridges can be rebuilt and wounds can heal. But Meghan will have to do a lot of soul-searching and make amends first. As for Harry, I haven't given up hope that he'll eventually see the light and find his way back to his family. Blood is thicker than water, after all. Maybe once the shine wears off his California lifestyle, he'll realise what really matters. In the meantime, I take comfort in knowing that the future of the monarchy is in good hands with William and Kate. They've shown time and time again that they have the strength of character to rise above the drama and do what's best for the country. And isn't that what being royal is really all about? It's not about designer clothes or magazine covers or Netflix deals. It's about service, duty and putting the needs of the people first. William and Kate understand that. Meghan never did. So while I'm saddened by this latest revelation about Meghan's behaviour, I'm not surprised. It's just one more piece of evidence that she was never cut out for royal life. She may have won the prince, but she lost the respect of a nation in the process. In the end, I believe the truth always comes out. Meghan can try to spin and manipulate all she wants, but actions speak louder than words, and her actions paint a pretty clear picture of who she really is. I'm sure we haven't heard the last of this saga. But whatever comes next, I take comfort in knowing that the true royals, the ones who understand the weight of the crown, will continue to serve with dignity and grace. And that's something worth celebrating. What do you all think about this latest royal drama? Are you Team Meghan or Team Royal Family? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more royal commentary. So what do you guys think about this news? Please share your thought and let me know what you think. Until then, folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.